Millions of Americans may have it and not know. yourself is that me or is that someone you love that's me and yes I'm asleep but the problem is I'm not breathing <laughs> beyond all the noise that's my brain telling my body to breathe it's very scary my wife radio talk show host Dana Wright knew something was wrong so she recorded this video he was always a snorer but I feel like in the last couple years it had gotten worse. But how much worse and how long was I going without breathing? Thank how you doing? I'm Jason well. Graff. I'm well. We showed this video to Dr. Well, Jason Graff at St. Luke's okay. Hospital who specializes in pulmonary disease um, and sleep disorders. I'm going to take out my trusty little stopwatch here. He decided to time how long I was going without taking a breath. But I'm still not breathing here. You're not. Here's the problem. It's called obstructive sleep apnea. 22 million Americans, like me, have it. It's an airway blockage caused when your tongue collapses while you're asleep. So this particular apnea, you didn't breathe for 38.5 seconds. <laughs> That's 38 and a half seconds without breathing. And if you're like me, it's happening 30 or more times an hour every night, and you don't even know it. Why is sleep apnea harmful? What can it do to you if not treated? We know that sleep apnea can cause high blood pressure and it can increase your risk of cardiovascular problems like heart attack, stroke, congestive heart failure. <laughs> nice to it's meet nice you. It's nice to meet you. I'll be your tech tonight. All right, here we go. Next stop, the sleep center at St. Luke's on the Plaza for an overnight sleep study. Stop breathing. You'll be able to tell. Uh -huh. A technician attaches 22 electrodes measuring everything from heart rate, brain waves, and yes, okay, so those moments when I'm asleep uh -huh. and I stop breathing. So, Chris, I'm going to go ahead and turn these lights out. Okay. Severe sleep apnea is anyone who stops breathing 30 times an hour. If it keeps going like this, I'm pretty sure I'll be putting them on CPAP tonight. <laughs> My breathing stopped an average 91 times an hour. And then right here, this flow decreases period flat lines. Two hours in, my apnea was so bad and so severe they had to wake me up. It's different. It is. It takes some getting used to. For millions, the answer is this machine called a CPAP, forcing air in to clear my airway. And for me, on this night, it worked. Much to the delight of a grateful wife. It's one of those things you don't think about, your sleep pattern, and how it really does affect every single part of your body. It's going to be great. I'm so happy for him that we've kind of, I hope, figured it out. All right, the bottom line is this. If you're tired or falling asleep during the day, if you keep waking up in the middle of the night, if your snoring is so loud others can't sleep, talk to your doctor. Now, mm. tomorrow morning on First News, my sleep doctor, Dr. Jason Graff, will be answering your questions about sleep apnea. All you have to do is go to our KMBC9 Facebook page, and of course, there are all kinds of CPAP masks out there. This is the one that has more or less worked for me, though mm -hmm. it is still early. My best advice is try them all because they, they make uh, all the difference in the world. It just kind of goes on like that. Mm -hmm. It's not terribly mm -hmm. elegant, but it does work, at least so far for me. And that is the best news. We are happy for you, and we are happy for anyone that can figure this out and sleep better yeah. and live better yeah. and longer.